Hi there, it's Penguins here. I'm back with Trapscraft. And in this episode, I'm going to build a cocoa farm. But before I build it, I would like to show you the progress between the episodes as usual. Okay, I got some code blocks. Work in progress to get the full beacon. I went to a jungle, got some jungle tree sapling and some cocoa beans. Also planted down some AK AKs AK Acacia trees. Made made some achieve advancement with shield and lava bucket. But that's not everything. I also mined the staircase down into the level 11. And well, you will see um, in a minute, in a second. Okay. I have done a bit of mining. It goes there, there, all the way there, and it went there. And because I don't have mending books yet, I have just quite many diamond pickaxes with unbreaking tree. You can imagine that, right? But I think that's about what I have done between the episodes, mostly. But today I'm going to build this cocoa bean farm, which is going to be semi-automatic. And this is pretty simple. Farm. Also, th I think I will do these easy farms first, if there's any harder or bigger ones. I would like to do it later. But you can see, <laughs> I'm getting a lot of melons, so food isn't a problem. But for this farm, I think I am using sticky pistons, like this. Okay, let's, let's think. Okay, let's place them here. Actually, let's give a little bit more space, so let's put them here. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Maybe we'll do... Okay. Okay, we don't have any more space. That's a problem. Would not too big problem. Okay. So let's place them here. So we will have... Okay. Let's place some wood. Like this. I have to leave one space. That they can push those jungle wood. And then when I pl place these cocoa beans here, they will drop down when the jungle wood logs are moved. Okay, now we will need some... Okay, let's do another crafting table here. Because we will have to craft something. Okay, redstone. We will need some redstone torches for repeaters, probably. Possibly. Let's. Yes, we will need. Let's make the lever. I almost forget that you do it this way. Okay, now we have a lever. And if we 
place it here. I think that's okay spot for that. And then we will have to put some redstone to power these. Okay, we have to come up this way a bit to be able to. So if if we do this, yes, that's simple, isn't? But that's everything because we have to power these to put these back. Otherwise, only these ones would drop and move. So we have to put redstone signal from this lever to this what it's called pistons. So maybe we will okay let's make a signal go this way. And it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. I have to do a little bit terraforming also, I think. So. But that's not a too big problem. Right now, okay, we place one there. So we will probably need one repeater. So let's make two redstone torches, and the repeater is made like this. Let's put it here. Actually, we will need some delay, so we will not need another one. Because it won't work if there wasn't enough delay between these two actions. Okay, torches, go away. Okay, now it works. And now I would have to place one there. Thank you. And like this. And like that. Okay. Let's test this out. You have pressed lever. Oh, I need to unpower these. So what happens if I do this? Okay. So I have to make a signal that goes off pretty soon for these. So I I have to think this a bit. <laughs> Now I know what's what was wrong. The lever messed all up. It had to, had to be a button, but I will need more delay for it to work. Actually, so let's. <laughs> Craft another of one of these. Okay, let's see if the delay is enough now. Okay, here's something wrong with this. Could be normal pistons. All of this. I just realized 
that maybe it would be a little bit easier to, to do that way. Well, let's go to sleep. Well, I think I have some normal pistons somewhere. It's just a matter of time for me to find those there. Let's replace those sticky pistons with normal pistons. Maybe yield. I think it will be a solution for this problem. Okay. Let's test it again. Okay. Now it works like a dream. Well, it's pretty simple. I think that if you want to make similar cocoa, cocoa bean farm, it's pretty easy to replicate this one. And you may, can make it max 15 jungle log long. Because that's how many blocks the piston can move. So just keep that in mind. If you are, have any problems if you do this. But what else I could do in this episode? Hmm. Let's see the advancement. There are something to do still. This one is something I could do now, or pretty soon actually. I miss... I actually, what biomes I miss? Mesa, Mega Taiga... What else? Some Mega Biomes? Maybe. Because I think I've been in almost every single one of Biomes. Yeah. What else? If we need to do this one. Pretty two animals eat everything. Okay, let's start that maybe. Start working on that. What we could eat? Rotten flesh. Have I, I haven't eaten that? Or can I eat the spider eye? Hmm, carrot, potato. Let's make a baked potato as well. Okay, there's some iron. I have a little bit of iron. <laughs> Eight and half stacks. And I have quite many diamonds as well. And other resources. Gold I don't have because I use them there. Okay, there's our baked potato. Hmm. Raw chicken and a cooked chicken. Okay, there's one. There's two more. Let's just chunk some stuff there and more here. Yeah. yeah. And some there. What else? We should eat a puffer fish. That's. You're able to eat that. So it is counted. Although it isn't pretty good for you. But... Wait, I think I got some cooked mutton. 
at some point. But did I eat this? Or oh well, and I went to a um, ice pack biome, and at the same time I killed some strays and got the rabbit's food. So now I, now I could be able to do all the potions. And I think that's something I will do in the next episode. I will prepare for that before recording and then I will complete it in the video. But do I have something else to eat? I think I don't have that many things. Well, let's try to run a bit and get some hunger. Okay, let's eat the rotten flesh. And it's one more. 7 out of 33. Let's eat this cooked chicken. And one more. Well, I <laughs> got an idea. I will put this my better on falling boots off and jump about here to there to get some falling damage and now I can eat the raw salmon but that's something I had eaten okay let's eat the raw chicken one more potato One more carrot, baked potato, spider eye. Okay, it poisoned me, but it doesn't matter. It didn't even last that long. So let's eat a puffer fish right now. Okay, that's a bit. Of Worse. Actually, I've never, I have ever, never eaten that before. Ugh. That actually hurts, and it will continue for half a minute. Well, let's eat a cooked rabbit while waiting, and also a raw rabbit, and. Well, raw mutton, okay, I don't, I think I don't have anything else right now, all went well, I found some slime chunks, and now I have got some stacks of slime balls, and that's a good thing. Okay, now I would like to get some health back. Well, now we got... We are in the hal halfway. On that one. This, this is something I will do for the next episode. I will continue working on this. I will probably do this. Maybe start working on this. And this one. And maybe this. But there's with. Okay. Ender Dragon, Sulker, are something I am not able to kill yet. Then there are Vindicator, Vex, and Evoker. And one more. I don't remember what's that one. It's in. I, I honestly have no idea about it. But hey, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Tribescraft. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more of this, feel free to leave a like and subscribe to my channel to see my videos on your homepage. Also feel free to leave any ideas down below. See you in the next video.
Bye.